Hello, this is Braggy. I'm here at EPT Paris, and today I've got a very special online poker video for you. On this channel, you're used to watching me play $55, $100, $200, $500, even $1,000 plus buy-ins. But today, we've got something a bit special. We're playing with thousands of other players in a $22 tournament. I'm bullying people around, and I'm the chip leader. With 20 players left, I've got most of the chips in play. But as ever, the question remains, can I take home the gold? Roll the tape. There might be some situations where we're, we're passing up some very marginal EV spots in a very soft field, but typically that's not like our first thought. Flying in the 22. Unstoppable force. This is a nine big blinds each commitment pre-flop. Seems okay with Ace Jack Seward for a bind. In a lower stakes game, someone goes all in with Jack Six Seward. It's like, well, yeah, that's the most easy to beat thing of all time. It's, it's very similar to saying, um, Flying in the 22, by the way. It's very similar to saying, oh, Lionel Messi plays in a very predictable way. He always cuts on the outside or something, you know? Oh my God, I've got Nunez captain. Three again, by the way. We would have flipped twice with the threes. This guy limp called the 10 9 suit whilst covered. It's quite aggressive, isn't it? Uh, I'm not going to misplay this one because I've got aces, but um, they've got kings. I played this one great so far. I might play the river badly sometimes. Not often. There's, there's no way I want this stream to be like, I know everything, you guys know nothing, how dare you question the way I play poker. That's, I mean, I, I think it's pretty clear that that's not the atmosphere here, but I would just encourage it to be like, hey, why did you do that? Or even, Spraggy, I don't think you should do that. I think it's bad because he's gonna have this hand. <laughs> See, I'm very tempted to call here just because I think they probably just have ace king a lot and like nines a lot. And we're very live and we're getting overlaid $7.50. Like the way they, oh jeez, I was going to say the way they construct this shove is probably, uh, means that Jack 10 suited is a very profitable call. If they play this with queens and kings and aces, we are just very, very, very much in a bad shape most of the time. I'm all in with a straight flush draw. <laughs> nice. Oh, I can beat that flush draw. Uh, GG, so unlucky. We win a $5 bounty. Great. What a hand to have. Take the small joys in life. Flying in the 22. Look at this in YouTube. Dexter says, you look like the coolest kid. And then I got really excited and said, on a computer science class. I was like, fuck. Buried man. Buried man. I went to university with some people who did computer science. So they were very cool people. So thanks for the compliment. Uh, will he three bet? Yes, he will. Will he call? Yes, he will. They're going to three bet like... King six offsuit, king seven offsuit, king eight offsuit, ace x offsuit, and then they're gonna three bet the really good hands. But everyone's going for the high low offsuit these days. You know, it's 2024, even in the 22. They might jam the turn because it's double flush draw, and they're like, oh shit, two flush draws, kings, I'm all in, ace queen, I'm all in. You know, I welcome it. They've checked. Do you know what that means? It means they got <sighs> king six offsuit, and they're drawing pretty dead. I'm very sad about it. Shall I check? Keep the range wide. There's no way, and the rock means no way, they've made a flush. They're not going to have diamonds here. If, you, if they three bet diamonds, and then they bet diamonds on the flop, they're jamming the turn. I say that with fairly strong confidence. What they might do is jam like a seven offsuit with the ace of diamonds, because they're like, I have the ace of diamonds blocker. I am all in. And I will call very quickly. When they check, I think they either have jacks, ace king, and I got two aces, or they're just dead. If they're just dead, they're going to fold. If they got jacks, they could hero. If they got a queen somehow, they could hero. But I'm jamming. I think it's jacks a lot when they check check. Probably. So I feel like all of their queens jam the turn because they want to protect their hand. Maybe they turn a 10. I don't know if they 3-bet that much 10x though. Either way, we jam, they fold. It's very sad because we had aces. We had a good hand. And I think I do want to go for it all. I, I, I don't think that we want to go like 20k. They probably call it a very similar weight to the shove and to the 20k. And obviously, if it's a very similar frequency call, but one of them makes an extra 20k, then we should jam, right? Dealer, four from the money? I'm all in. I'm all in. That's me, dealer. I'm playing my entire stack in the middle, please. Fold, fold, fold. Yes, 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 yes. Don't bluff in the $22 tournaments, guys. They'll never fold to you. And the 22 mini battle royale, we are now in the money after we bluffed that 6-5 all in the river. And we've got uh, 15th in chips. 2,329 players. I've got a king. That's me. I'll bet. I've got a good hand. I'm going to bet my hand. That's poker. I've got a good hand. I'm going to bet my hand. Once they time bank, they're calling. Because if they had spades, they snap fold. Once they time bank, they have an ace, and they've never folded an ace here, ever. 
We already got paid. Congrats us. Well done. 1250 in bounties. Very nice. Added on. They time back to save face so they don't snap A7. So they're like, I was thinking about folding. No one folds A7 here. I don't fold A7 here. Jax. Jax. Jax is tough because I need to bluff Jack 10 and Queen Jack. You know, Jax is tough. They really didn't believe me. Welcome, M Sushi. Welcome. <laughs> Mate, I might just win the $22 mini battle royale today. I'd love to know who's going to stop me. Who's going to stop me? Maybe some of you guys are still in the $22 battle royale. I invite you. Contest me. Ooh. I said who's going to stop me in the 22. I check raised the flop. I might be stopping myself. We have to fire all three because they might have Queen X get stubborn or Queen X of diamonds. They're playing very tight, so I don't think they raise much 6x in the small blind. Out right, in the cutoff at all. Maybe none, maybe a6 suited for two combinations. So, we might just be able to get them to fold everything at the river that isn't pocket queens, pocket aces. Maybe they call ace queen, but I am putting them to the test for their tournament life. People don't like calling off their tournament life when they've got a nice stack of chips in the, in the 22. And if it goes bye-bye, then it goes bye-bye. But daddy's all in. We have to make them believe that I have a six in my hand. From the big blind, it's quite believable. Especially when we're investing 70 bigs in the money. I think they might like even not like to call ace queen, you know? I guess they're all the same. Either they have a lose to a six or beat a six, right? But people don't see it as the same. People see ace queen as better somehow, but it's not. I, there's a good chance that this player just folds their entire range on this run out to this line, you know? Don't open any sixes and don't call anything at the river that isn't a six. Then they are going to be in trouble. Using all my run good in the Bounty Builder 33, we will take it because first place in the Bounty Builder 33 tonight is going to be about four to five thousand dollars. First place in the 22 mini battle rails, three and a half K plus bounties, probably about five or six K. It won't be double with such a big field. A lot of the bounties have already been taken. Man, I, I just bet a lot here in position against these players. Man Marshall says, perhaps to alleviate your button pressure, you could switch to a beanie. Yeah, I, I was wearing a beanie a little bit, actually. It's a good shout. It's a good shout. Do you think it's too thin to value bet? Someone's just going to roll up here with, like, king four from the big blind, I think. Or we win. Nice. But I think there's still a little bit too much king x to go for the multi-way value bet with ace jack. Probably. $29 bounty. This is such a miserable hand to call with because people jam very tight in these tournaments. But $29, 26 heads. And when we got 250, I think we just run it. Don't care. Hey, we get a flip. We'll take it. I uh, I win the pot as well. I win the flip. Very nice. Pretty cool, isn't it? How do you feel about this? Oh, wait, this person limped and I just made it two blinds. I didn't see this limp. This is a mistake. Uh, 30, I mean, unless this person's really, 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 really the most tight player alive. We want to jam and we're going to jam, yeah. We'll take a flip. Boo, boo. I don't think this guy calls many three bets with worse hand. I don't think he, like, I think the answer is just call. 10 high board is very good for me in general. I'm just going to block again. Try and get caught by like sevens and eights, nines, jack ten, king ten. Fold to maneuver of all in. And we've been three bet on the flop, holding three of a kind. I'm all in. In the 22 mini, which is nice. Thursday thrill tomorrow. 215 thrill. 200k guaranteed. 22 thrill, 150k guaranteed. Hello! Hello there. Watch and learn. Give them a chance. When people have got less than pot left, I'll, in these sorts of tournaments, yeah, I always like to give them a little chance. And now I think checking would be a mistake because you don't want to check, 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 shove river. But a little 16k tickle is good. If they bet the river in this 22, I'm all in. How can I not when I have the king of clubs and a 10? It's so hard for them to make a flush at the river. They have to have queen 10 of clubs, maybe 10, nine of clubs. The only problem is how thinly they bet the river. But mate, versus half pot, that is getting f***ing sent. I actually don't think the king of clubs is a great blocker to have because they're not going to bet like king 10, king, queen of clubs on the turn. So I don't really block any of the flushes that they do have, but they might, they might. They bet king seven of clubs on the turn. Um, but like this hand is just too attractive not to bluff. I actually think it's better to have king with the 10 of clubs because they would barrel with queen 10 of clubs, nine, 10 of clubs. But when they bet half pot, this king of clubs is just 
but a bit of a fake blocker. Unless we think they bet second pair in a flush on the turn, which you should, but some people are just like, okay, I'll, I, I, I'm going to check with my king, you know? I think it's okay. And that's, that's having a raise with the nines, is it? Absolutely it is. I'll have a bet. I'll have a... Check. I'll have a... I don't like having nines. Can I have sevens? I like having sevens a bit more. I like having a queen against someone who doesn't probably bluff a lot. King Jack is obvious. Jack nine. Shit. King nine. Shit. Seven, eight, eight, nine. Shit. See, having a nine is very bad. Having a nine is very unfortunate. But I did bet small on the flop. Is Alexa Best going to bluff this sizing? Are they going to peel ace four with the backdoor hearts on the flop? Uh, I don't think this player is bluffing. Full stop. Man, I've got king four offsuit and a three bet part, and I'm just going for like 40% on jack eight nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could make a straight. I'm going to put some chips in versus big blind. Sure. Trying to get all the chips I just gave him with the King 4 offsuit back. John Smith has just joined the stream, Spraggy. What's wrong? Just joined the stream. What's wrong with your plumbing, Spraggy? Nothing wrong with mine. Just never win pots on Twitch. Having some issues with his plumbing. He's bluffing again. He can't stop this guy. He can't help himself, this guy. An eight. Excellent. Someone subs from America. It's like a million dollars. And someone subs from Australia. is like three million dollars. The Australian subs are super expensive, I think. I don't, I don't know how it works. And now the Prime subs are locally priced, so the Prime subs are priced based on where the person's subbing from with the Prime. I, I can't keep up with it all. Rick Dolph gifted a sub to Irish Stud. Welcome in, Irish Stud. Thank you very much, Ricky Dicky Dolph. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Even versus Big Bet. Even versus Big Bet. And now we're going to bet 10,000. Me, 10,000. You, Denny, Denny. Ah, the classic. The classic small arrays. Any fancy play? Oh my god, it was so fast! Any fancy play enjoyers? This is the quickest all-in I've ever seen in my life. This is what one tabling a $22 tournament does to you, isn't it? Right, focus. No more fucking around, okay? No more calling the flop, leading the turn, three-betting the turn. Don't do it. Don't do it, Spray. We do like fives. This plays quite deep as it gets down to air, which is obviously nice that there's some play in the tournament for $22, but for a man who's quite sleepy in a $22 one-tabling situation, it's uh, we might welcome some shorter stacks and a little bit more go-go. Uh, but hey, this tournament is not shouldn't be dictated about what I want. Ooh, a turn lead. Fresh. Expected, but yet so far from. What a sad river. Man, I've got to shove because they're going to have Jack-10. I don't think they ever check a 9 when they lead. I think they lead some Queen X. I think they lead some Jack-10. I think they lead some Jack-8. And I, I just think we're going to lose to a Jack if we check behind. And I don't think they ever check a really strong hand. So... Off my fives, two pots, don't think we get called. So this is by no means, I would, I'm certainly not, now I'm 59 left trying to like punt this tournament. I would absolutely turn my hand into a bluff here. I think I would just jam very, very, very wide versus check. In particular on a jack, because we don't want them to have the jack 10 straight draw, but then makes a jack and shows down, right? I don't think so. And we are off to a flop, sure. Man, this guy did not play a hand for 170 hands. And is now finding a lead on the nine turn. It's three bad mate. Oh yeah, 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 mama mia. Let's get on. I think people bet their pairs on the turn, man. Now theory's gonna have him bluff him some ten x on the button, but I think he, he's just gonna have ace king. The vast, vast, vast majority of the time. So we can kind of do whatever we want in the river, and I think betting twenty k is good. This is a big pot, and I've got kings. It's happening. We're going to win the $22 mini battle royale PK with 5th of 52. With 5th of 52. Hold on to your seatbelts. Buckle up. And what do we got here? 70 blind seat. We'll probably size up a bit with everything on this board as well. A lot of our value wants to size up. We still get, like, it's still going to be a lot of this size though, right? 
I would anticipate still some calling of Jack X because when you're this deep, you need them. You need to be able to make more nutted hands than the streets, right? When you're putting in, when you're lining up to put 70 big blinds in the pot, it's really not going to be enough to have a hand like Jack Nine of Hearts and Chet Rays. Where if you're 20 blinds deep, that hand's going to Chet Rays. This lead is interesting for this size, this deep. I'm obviously continuing just when I want to raise for value, probably. I think I raise for value because I think there's some like a lot of hands that are pair plus draws. Still some diamonds, obviously some like turned flush draws as well. And if we get three bet, we can quite happily call because I don't think they play like three bet all in. For an extra 60 bigs, I think it would be more like to 30. And I think there's too much like eight, seven, six, seven, you know, some backdoor clubs, some other straight draws, nine tens, and most of the jacks raise flop unless, you know, if they have like jack nine, I don't think they have, most of the strong jacks are going to raise the flop. And then the jack nines probably just like play and flow and check again sometimes. I don't, I'm so tired. Just talking shit. Raise, whatever, do whatever. I don't, I don't care, okay? Just, I got a good hand. This is a nice one, a little blue one. I bet these are worth... They charge, they're trying to charge 20 quid for this. I bet, they, I bet these cost pennies. Pennies to make. I have flop trips, so we'll have a bet. They can still have quads. We could just apply some pressure to like sevens and eights, but I should probably just barrel like seven, eight suited and stuff. Give up. This isn't where the money's made. Is it tripling off the 10, 10, 10 and a 22? Probably not. Okay, let's go. I'm very excited about this. They 3x pre. They've called the three bet. Now, come back. Come on. That was a misclick pre, of course. Anyone scared of the sizing? I really don't think they just triple off. I think they're gonna big bet and call off with like ace queen with a spade, king queen with a spade, aces kings, sets. I don't think they triple their bluffs, so I don't think there's any merit, and I don't think they value bet the river thinly, so I think we just jam turn. Why? Drawing dead. Uh, by the way, I have 3.2 million chips now. I'm first of 24 in the year, uh, 22. Since I had sat down for this food, I've gone from what? 600k to 3.2 million. Second place in chips has 2 million. I have 3.2. Massive chip lead, 24 left. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the stream. Today we'll be winning the $22 mini Battle Royale PKO. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. If you're enjoying the stream, don't forget to hit, hit the hat follow button and uh, consider liking and subscribing on the YouTube channel. And here we go. We're very deep, but like this bet size is just like limp and then stab your entire range. I don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I won't allow it. And I don't think we get to overbet necessarily because they have full weight six, seven. Uh, they make some two pairs. So I don't think we get to just like blast. Um, I was feeling pretty good anyway. We're up against some backdoor flushes, some front door flushes, some hands like five, six and four, six and five, seven, seven, eight and eight, six. I'm even happier now though. And I'm going for this because I didn't want to check back and run out of time. But I think pot's good anyway. All of our get good kings want to bet pot. And that turned into a very good kick. We'll probably check back again. Believe it or not, I actually studied this spot a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot the other day. I did a lot of uh, playing a side boards as in position and uh, versus out position C bet versus out position check versus out position check, check, check lines versus probe turn lines. And what I found was a reasonable degree of balance in the turn double check like there's still a lot of asex when it goes check 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 here or rather when out of position checks twice but not so much in the third check the third check becomes a lot more cap and i expected it possibly to be capped at like the second street but the the second street actually tended to be quite well balanced like people would check with an ace and then they check the turn again with an ace once they check three times very capped 
which is why we quite happily go for 78% up the river with the uh, King Jack here, like big value bet. And my opponent has a nine, which is exactly the sort of hand that we expect to see, right? Like has showdown value, check, 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 like bluff catches the river. But I think we can be quite confident that they are at this part of their range uh, and we'll just go for the big value of the river and we get it. And we will open ace jack and we will flop very, very well indeed. 22 big blind steep. This time, if we get check raised, we'll be very happy. We get immediately called and return top two, which is great. We will just bet big. I think big or check, probably. I like it a lot. First of 17, up to 3.7 million. Very cool. Of course, we're running it. They do have a big hand, but... Outflop for a $97 bounty and 500k. We went from, what, 3.7 up to 3.9. Very nice. Just drilling flops at the moment. Killing the flops at the moment. Um, I think we want some value on the turn for sure. Over the 4 million mark. Don't really want a 3-bet fold when they're the biggest bounty. Maybe I should. I think we're quite happy trying to just play for stacks after it goes check, check. I think if stacks get in on this board on the flop, we're pretty uh, dead most of the time over three streets, but I like the turn. And as of yet, everyone who predicted we might not make the final table, or rather took good odds on me not making a final table. Um, so far, no blow up. So far, no blow up. This player's got to play quite tight on the button because two players to the left who cover them and they, they have the bigger bounty now. I will say at this point, the bounties are obviously less relevant. And I love flopping a hand that can make the nuts. Either a nine or a king. We can go both ways to the straight. It's good. I'm not in love with the ten. Check back now a ten. This hand makes sense. Ten makes sense, right? Check back. Don't like the ace. Call turn. They're going to have uh, some second pairs a lot, I think. Melt stream guy says it's not down swing. What did you just say? I've learned my lesson. I'm going to defend. Bazamak's in with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Bazamak. And I'm in with a Jack on the River. A Jack on the River, folks. It's a fine card. It's a wonderful card. Can we get called by pocket fives? Pocket sixes? Ace four? Ace high? Maybe not ace high on a Jack. They are leaving the pot. 4.4 million for us. 11 players remain. Five on this table, six on the other. We'll play five and five, and then we'll go to an FT. Uh, Kush meant to say this is the end of the downswing. Thank you for clearing that up. Uh, who had 33? Thank you. <laughs> How are we doing? Are you bleeding? We are in there, honey. Oh, we are in there, you know. We are doing it. That was a quick call, wasn't it? I think Theory wants to go a little bit bigger here. They call with Ace Deuce. I feel like they're like quite scared of big over bets, but never fold into like generally under pot bigger sizings with a very wide range. Uh, so we do get paid five million for the first time. Chipping up, lovely stuff. Jacks against the a7. The jacks, of course, a big favorite to a queen deuce deuce flop. One card remaining. Three outs once. Bricks out, and we're down to ten. I remain chip leader. Tom to our right remains the biggest bounty. In fact, that biggest bounty in the tournament now grows to two hundred and sixteen dollars. I said earlier I would open this, but I lied. I'm folding two three offs on the button. Someone got got. We've lost uh, Kopatuo, Ko Kopatujo, Kopatutoje. And we will now be nine-handed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your final table. Let's get some pets up on the screen. A reminder that the pets you are about to see are exclusive of bounties. That is to say, we are going to win whatever you see in the pay table, plus however much money we get for knocking people out along the way. That is a number that currently stands at $222.77. How exciting. Here's what we're playing for, 3.4k up top plus bounties, which is not too bad from just a $22 buy -in. We should expect to win about 6,000, anywhere between six and $7,000 if we win the tournament. A little bit annoying that the other, the second in chips is two to my left, gonna be in my big blind whilst I'm on the button, but it's okay. We come in with a uh, very nice chip lead. 5.1 million plays, 4 million, 3.3, 2.8, 2.2, 2 million. 1.6, 1.4, and 740k. 2,329 players started. Just nine of us remain.
Oh, it's your final table? Oh, you're gonna three about me? Oh. No, 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 no. Not today. Not this time. Let's win. Maybe some eight blinds? I don't know. Go ahead, bet again, it's all yours. Promise, promise. Just fold in an ace. Top pair, get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. I am a little high, 99's up to 3 million. And you net stand to 1.9. Remember when we started this FT? And I was like, ah, the guy two to my left is one of the biggest sacks. Well, trim down to size a little. Raise and a call and a call. Ah, here we go. Now I know we're on a $22 FT. Everybody's calling in. Do you know what? Me too. It's not often you manage to go five ways to the flop in a in a final table, but ah, four. Someone saw sense. Someone saw sense. I think you have to have quite strong hands to better flop into three players. So I'm just gonna fold and let these guys have at it. A fourth club hits the turn. A check and a check. I'd imagine Shaman's quite capped now. I'd imagine a lot of the Ace of Clubs, King of Clubs, still gonna bet turn and river. This is a... I know we're on a $22 FT, but my man over here is, is check calling the 6-9 of spades. Had a gut shot, I guess. And runner runners the bottom end of the straight to beat the set for 1.3 million chips. No problem. All right, so this guy's super duper out of line here. Like 6-9 suited calling preflop is a negative lots of dollars call preflop. Calling on the flop is negative infinite. We're keeping an eye on things. We're keeping an eye on things. We'll defend King 10. Things fine. Cool. It's good. Fine. Whatever. Sure. Off to a turn. Looks good. Have a little float. Why can't I have two spades, you know? At least give me that. My opponent definitely still has some ace -X. I think it would be very reasonable for them to check a hand like ace-5, ace-6, ace-8, ace-9. They are going to have jack-10 and they're going to have king-queen. They might also have like 8-9 suited and not barrel it. They might have pocket 10s. So obviously, we have a 10. Very intrigued. I don't think I want to bluff here. I don't think I want to block here. I think I probably just want to check fold here. If they're betting range on ace-jack-7, they're going to bet hands like 6s, 5s, 8s, 9s that we beat, queen-10 that we beat. And like I said, I think it's still quite reasonable to have some ace -X. And obviously some hands like this, so jack X, kings, queens. I don't think we bluff the king 10. Another raise, another three bet, a four bet. We're gonna see a call. This is not gonna three bet fold, I don't think, from 10. Oh my goodness. Queen nine suit, jack nine suited, baby. My goodness me, it's a queen on the river. Holy sh holy sh what a hand. Some of these hands are not like the others. All in on the final table, you might expect ace king to go up against the pocket queens. Jack nine suited, just juicing it all in there as well. Playing for two bannies. They were playing for, you know, hate to say it, but a, quite a small part of the prize pool at this point. Jack nine suited did flop a flush draw too, does not get there. Queen on the river is good for Nunez to uh, regain the chip lead. We do lose a player with hand eight. Pretty happy to play as we've been playing. I would be all in a lot if Shaman shoves. Shaman's the sort of player who's gonna play push fold off the stack. There we go. I don't I think you should still play majority like or a lot of raising, but they're just gonna play push fold. Obviously, this is great for us. We are all in with Ace King Sword because I've got Ace King Sword and it's a very fucking good hand. And we get a chance at two bounties. That's gonna be a strong hand because they don't cover Shaman, but I mean I have Ace King, so it's definitely gonna, you know, for seven blinds they're putting in Ace Queen for sure, right? Probably just flipping a lot. Big pot to win. Oh right, just aces. Ace king and ace king and aces. Is that a reasonable distribution of cards here? I would say no. Quite the hand to have off. S First of all, quite the hand to have off nine blinds. I think jamming ace king, by the way, is, is pretty good with that hand in particular. Quite, uh, quite something for ace king to be all in for nine blinds. Me to reach have ace king suited and then seven blinds to have aces. Eh? Deary me. Indeed, it is a flip. It is a nine. Wow! 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 I'm a little high is eliminated. Tom on a heater right now. Find the aces versus ace king versus ace king. Finds the nines versus ace jack on a nine on the flop to uh, close that right away. And we are now six remaining. Ace king, I've never lost a good pot, big pot with ace king. So I'm very excited. I will raise. If there's re-raising, there will be more re-raising, rest assured. In fact, I welcome it. I welcome someone putting it in my face. Come on, put it in my face. 
How dare you? And we got all in. We got a jumper. He got for it. The leap of faith. Faith in their hand or faith that their opponent will fold. I reckon there's a lot of bluffing. That is not a bluff. That is a straight. And Nunes making five in a line gets paid by the ace jack. We're down to five. I'm four or five. What have I done? Nothing. Three bets some hands. Four bets some hands. Had reasonable success. Then went all in with ace king. And then all of a sudden, I'm just chilling four or five. Because everybody else just playing some wild hands. Making some strong hands and getting paid. Winning their all-ins. Winning their flips. Someone called all in earlier three ways with Jack Knight suited on a final table. You know, everyone's just blasting. And I go all in against a nine big blind shove with ace king suited. And I run into ace king and aces. Is that reasonable? Given the other hands that have been all in, was it reasonable to expect uh, ace king and aces? I, I, I would say no. I would say we might check raise king queen 10 4 with this uh, little gut shot backdoor, though. Is that something you might be interested in? Yeah, I will. Pav says, very lucky day for me. Nice. Good. Love to hear it. Get me in there with the ace 5 oh, eh? Uh oh. Blasio Tunnel says, what happened to our stack? Stack goes up, stack goes down. I only had like 4.8 mil when I started. I ran ace king suit into aces. I haven't done much else. Not a huge fan of the queen eye board. I do have a pair, though. And I do have a backdoor spade. I don't know how I feel about check calling at a position on a final table here with this hand there. I was going to say, because like a 10, a jack, a king, they all stink. It's, I mean, what now? What now? Maybe we're supposed to just fold flop. We're certainly folding this hand on the turn. My goodness. Fold the any. Thomas, fold. Boo. Uh, no. Win the chips, you mean? All right. Interesting. Man, do you reckon Norman Ollie's just sending it here against Nunez? Like, jamming super wide? Probably. Man, this is very tempting. It is very tempting. Norman Ollie's been going all in a lot versus these... Versus this open and versus opens in general. But I don't know in this... What have we got up top? 6k up top. Quite top heavy as well, isn't it? Maybe we have to take this. Maybe this is bottom. Maybe this is slightly losing, but Norman Ollie's really blasting against Nunez's opens. Bon chance, Ace Jack. We'll take a flip, whatever. I can win a flip for sure. Oh no, I've not won a flip. I've lost. I've lost instead. Oh dear. What a final table, eh? What a f what an absolute class, class FT this has been. Good luck, 7-5. I'm far too tired to read the, the way the YouTube comments would play a final table right now. My brain can't just choose to ignore it. Can't do it. I'm getting baited. Ten and a half hours in, one hour sleep, getting baited by people who want to, you know, just call 10-8 off soon. Get in there and battle people on an FT, you know? Good luck, 7-5. I love you. Oh, 7-5. You look so handsome today. Do you know that? Give me five big blinds. Actually, I think I win like three big blinds. Should I be so fortunate as to make a hand here? 316 says I just made a straight. That's not good. I still have seven high. One more chance. A three is good. A five is good. A seven is good. An eight is good. We might need more than a five or a seven. We might need a three or an eight. They might have a pair. I do not care who wins this pot, and neither should you. It's not going to be me. We have been eliminated in fifth place for $223 plus 1026 for a grand total of 1250 